Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be answering a question that I've been getting a couple times recently. And that is, what does the back course button do on an automatic pilot? So as you know, if you're doing a standard ILS approach, uh, which is what we're setting ourselves up to right now, you can see Bradley International Airport sitting right here on my left, you'll notice that we normally just come down here, we press the approach button, uh, we confirm that we are in the correct frequency, which we are, and then once we get a little bit lower, the aircraft actually starts, you know, kind of swinging itself around. You can see we've already got the glide slope captured. We're still waiting on the localizer. Of course, if we're pro pilots, uh, what we'd be doing at this particular time is we'd be preparing ourselves for a missed approach. So I'm gonna go ahead and get myself ready for the missed approach. I need to come up to 3,000 feet. Everything's looking pretty good. You know, I'm ready to go, but you know, I'm confident this is gonna be a regular landing. So I've got my approach going, everything's good. Go ahead and pop my landing gear down, kind of line everything up. Go ahead and put that first notch of flaps down. Confirm, do my kind of pre-landing checklist here. I'm actually gonna make sure my cow flaps are in the correct position so I don't overheat anything this time. I'm looking out the window. I can see myself at the end of the runway. Everything's ready to go. So let's uh, speed up just a little bit here. So the aircraft kind of spins itself around. You know, I got myself at three times speed here, so it's easier to see. Put my head up a little bit so you can see a little better. You know, we're starting our approach. Obviously, you wouldn't want to approach at 3x here. And we're down to normal time. All of a sudden, you get a call saying, go around. You sit there and go, oh my gosh, it's time to go around. So uh, what, what, what do I do first? Okay, so we push this. Then we're going to bring up our landing gear. Then we're going to give it full power. We're going to start a bulk landing. But we want to use the automatic pilot to help us out here. So what the back course option will do is it allow us to fly in ILS in reverse. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reach over here. I'm going to go ahead and activate my automatic pilot once I get everything nice and leveled off again. Automatic pilot on. And I'm going to press on BC. So what's going to happen now is this aircraft is actually going to fly our ILS approach in reverse. But did you see how it just started to pull itself off the runway? Let me pause. So the reason it did that is if you take a look right here, you'll notice that our course setting is set to land on the runway we're actually crossing over right now. In order to fly a back course, it would actually fly this in reverse, which would mean towards a heading of 6-0. So because we've activated the back course early, it's attempting to turn us around to 6-0. I'm going to go ahead and unpause real quickly. And I'm going to go ahead and take control of the aircraft back from the automatic pilot, who needs to be fired for that incompetence. So I'm going to go ahead and fly forward. So now if you wanted to, you could actually press the localizer button at this time and actually have the aircraft fly this as if it was flying a regular localizer approach. So in this case, I'm not going to worry about that too, too much. I'm just going to worry about getting my climb here to get out of here. So what we're going to wait for in order to do our back course is we're going to wait until this arrow flips directions. In old aircraft with traditional avionics, you actually had to set this arrow yourself in order to do this. Unfortunately or fortunately, the electronic one will actually do it for you. All right, watch what happens. Oh, whoop. see the flip. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my autopilot. I'm gonna turn on back course mode. So now what the aircraft is going to do is it's going to fly the ILS in reverse to where it just was a minute ago, since I have now crossed the end of the runway. So even though we're pointing towards a heading of 2-4, and even though our course is set for six, uh, about 5-7 actually, you can see the aircraft is attempting to center this line in this direction as opposed to the other direction. Now if I wanted to do something really, really naughty, I could come over here and press the APR button. So notice, nothing happened. Now you're probably going, why did nothing happen? It's because back course and APR are linked to each other. As long as back course is enabled, you will always fly the reverse of the approach. Now if I shut back course off, notice the aircraft instantly starts to start turning and trying to fly an ILS approach for us for this particular runway. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll shut that off. I'll take an extremely aggressive turn here. I am so sorry, Wings. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hey, solar panels. All right, spin ourselves back around. Obviously, we're extremely high here. And I'm going to go ahead and pause. Let's do a quick little donut again to prove my point a little bit more clearly here. Again, this is one of those things that people get got to watch out for. Don't sink. Don't sink. Pull up. I feel like I'm a glider pilot today. All right, cool. Nice. Go ahead and pause. Okay. So now let's say we reset everything again. So my autopilot pilot is on. We're going to say we're on approach mode. It's already preset. And back course mode is off. Let's go ahead and uh, unpause here. Now the aircraft is going to start trying to fly this as an approach one more time. Now, if I press the back course button now, watch what the aircraft will try to do. 
it will actually turn the airplane around trying to go the opposite direction of what you have right there. So in this case, um, this is going to be a collision sort of situation. So you can say that's not going to work. So that's the basic gist to the back course button. Basically, whatever course you have, it will attempt to fly it backwards, which is again, it's useful, but don't forget to shut it off if you want to approach the aircraft. Otherwise, you will fly in the opposite direction. Now, I know what you're thinking now. You're going, well, that's actually kind of a neat tool. Uh, does it work in reverse for VORs? Well, uh, let's demonstrate that real quick. Why not? Go ahead and level this aircraft back up. I'm kind of flying towards the sun here. Never pleasant for the eyes. Make sure approach mode is off. Back course mode is off. Autopilot on. We're going to go ahead and uh, continue climbing here. Let's go ahead and call up a VOR real quick just to demonstrate that. So I'm going to go to 11490, which is hard for VOR. It's not too, too far away from us. Swing that around. It should recognize that as HFD. I'm going to go ahead and synchronize my course. I'm going to press the nav button real quick. Whoops, that's VNAV. You know that doesn't work. All right, the aircraft's now going to take a nice gentle turn, and it's going to start traveling towards that VOR station. I've got a nice little shot of Connecticut here. You can see the river over there on the left. Everything's looking pretty solid. Okay, so now we have just regular nav mode on. This is a regular VOR station. What's going to happen when we go ahead and press the back course button? I know you're all super duper excited. Press the altitude hold real quick. Yeah, 2400 feet is a little weird, but deal. Drop my manifold pressure to 25 inches. I'm going to go ahead and set my RPM up, and I'm going to press the back course button. Do you see what's happening? Yeah, that's exactly what you expected. The aircraft is now flying the VOR radial backwards. So not only can you use it as a way to reverse your way along an ILS approach, you can also use it as a way to actually set yourself up so you reverse sense something. So if I didn't want to change my course, I can now fly the back course away from it. The problem is you've got to shut that mode off. Like if I do it now, the aircraft is now going to start taking a right turn and start bringing us back towards that other VOR station. So hopefully that answers that question. Again, the only way you need to think about it is it reverses whatever you have selected if you're doing any sort of navigation radio. It does not give you glide slope information, which is actually kind of a bummer. So you can't like reverse go up also, you know, you're still going to be responsible for that. Other than that, that's basically all there is to it. Keep in mind, you've got to shut that off before you try to land. Otherwise, you're going to have a real fun time of it. Enjoy.